hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today we're making scent leaf sauce now this sauce is incredibly easy very medicinal and also very delicious so first i like to cook the yam and the plantain that i'm using first because trust me that will take the most time i've added salt to my water added the yam and plantains and as you can see no peel the back because in my opinion that thing just adds a special sweetness to it you can also use potatoes okay so next i'm going to prep the ingredients we need for this sauce this sauce happens really fast it is really quick so you want all your ingredients prepped before you start you need tomatoes which i've already washed i'm going to dice it up now and set it aside next i'm going to chop up the red bell pepper and set it aside now with this sauce you can use either just tomatoes or red bell pepper so don't sweat it if you don't have um, red bell pepper or if you don't have tomatoes if you have one of them this sauce will work just as good okay so i'm going to chop this up chop up some onion and some scotch bonnet pepper and then set everything aside So next you want to pluck, wash and cut the scent leaf. Now can I use any other vegetable to cook this sauce? Yes you can but then you're not going to have the same result as using scent leaf vegetable. I got my scent leaf from Fit Vibes. You can reach out to her if you live abroad and she'll deliver to you. I'll leave her link in the comment section. So in a pot I've added some palm oil. Once it heats up I'm going to fry some chopped onion for about a minute on two until it becomes fragrant. Next I'll add the chopped red bell pepper, the tomatoes and scotch bonnet pepper. I'm also going to add dry fish. You can use mackerel fish or any fish that you prefer. This fish was quite tough so I added it early so it can soften up. Next I'm going to season with one maggi crefi and then stir for it to fry for a few minutes before I come back. So after about seven minutes i'm going to come back now give this a good good mix see how beautiful it looks and the aroma was amazing so at this time i tasted and i thought i needed a little bit more salt so i added some salt and some ground crayfish now once you add that this sauce is as good as done very straightforward easy no long story after i mix this in i'm going to go ahead and add the um scently vegetable if you're watching up until this point, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe and turn your bell notification on so you'll be among the first to know anytime I upload a new video. And to my first timers, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe. So now I'm going to add the scent leaf, cover and let it wilt for a few minutes before I stir. Now, I like to cook down my scent leaf because for me, it's more like a herb. You want to cook it down a little bit longer so that you can get all that um, goodness from the vegetable. So once I stir this in, I'm going to cover again and let it cook down for another three to four minutes and then I'll come back. Four minutes later, I open up this pot and the aroma just filled everywhere, busting my nose. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to stir this around and look at that. Our sauce is ready. You can also have this with rice, so yeah, but I had this with yam and this sauce was gone within a, within a twinkle of an eye. It is ready. I check on the yam and the plantain. It is done as well. Serve and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in my next one. Bye.